Welcome back. And everyone, this is a quick progress of my IK rig system that I've been developing for over a year now. And I'm really excited because I actually finally get to show off um, a full working prototype of it. Um, and in case you don't know what an IK rig system, I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by the one from Ubisoft, the one they de demonstrated in a GDC a couple years ago, where you have an animation that can then be applied to um, multiple types of rigs. So like in this example that I have, I have a walk cycle that's designed primarily for a humanoid, and, it, and I can retarget it for another humanoid even though it's a different skeleton, it's shorter, it's different, slightly different build. But I'm also able to apply it to a non-humanoid uh, rig. You know, this one, you know, the, um, the legs on this rig, the, the bones are four, a count of four, where a human only has three bones. You know, you have your thigh, your, your, um, your shin, and your foot. So, so this is the progress of it, of it actually working. So you have a walking animation, and it's applying to different type of bone structure, different type of skeletons, and it's um, doing a pretty good job. And the tail is just um, a mostly working uh, jiggly bone. So this way the tail can animate right along with the animation. So um, as in the center, you can see it's is the actual walk animation that I got from Mixamo. And all these dots and lines, this is actually the IK data that I'm actually computing from the animation per frame. And then the, the data is then passed over to the target rig. And Vegeta and T-Rex use the exact same um, same rig. So it's the same data, same set of code that's being applied to different, two different um, uh, skeletal structures. And it's actually animating a pretty good job of it. Um, and of course, yeah, I've I tested other animations. So we got a running animation going. Excuse the tail. And uh, and for fun, we also have uh, the sexy walk, the sexy catwalk, and it, it does a really good job of it. It you know it's 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 been in development for over a year. It's kind of been an open source project. I've been doing YouTube tutorials, um, slowly building this up uh, one piece at a time. And I'm finally at this point where it's, I'm actually can actually prove that it's possible for uh, a person to come up with the system uh, from scratch. Uh, this, this, this has absolutely no dependency whatsoever. It's a hundred percent written from scratch uh, using JavaScript, WebGL and, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's very simple. Everything just runs in a browser. There's no uh, anything crazy. So it's something you can just download and just kind of run on your browser just fine. Um, it all started off, the project actually started off with um, this one. This one is the, actually when I started creating the IK solvers. So th this is what started the project where I developed all the IK solvers that I saw from the Ubisoft video. And the idea is you have... The, simple IK information that gets translated to different types of uh, data rigs. So we have uh, your regular leg bone, kind of an octopus bones, you kind of like a piston which is more mechanical, and then you have your three legs, a uh, three bone leg which works for uh, Roborex. Uh, Robo, Robo, yeah, Roborex. And so like I said, this is I made, made these solvers like a couple, like a year ago, and then for ever since then I've been slowly building up the system. Um, as you can see, this is an example of the original talk. And like I said, I actually try to recreate um, all these um, uh, IK solvers that they were demonstrating. And here's the original like video showing off uh, the same walk animation, but uh, you know, one is like a robot with three bone with uh, four bone legs, and then you have a humanoid with just regular right three bones, and it follows the same animation. Uh, the, the entire rig so yeah there you go <laughs> so yeah uh, so this is something that inspired me uh, over a year ago and I'm happy to announce that um, it's real and the source code is out and uh, I'll put the link in the in the descri uh, description which will have access to my github and uh, the, a live demo so you can actually view it in the browser if you want. Uh, probably won't work on mobile phones because it's a, it's a little bit, a bit of processing, but uh, it works just fine on, like, I have, like, a Surface Pro. Um, all of my other tablets work just fine. It just probably just won't work for mobile phones uh, to get this demo going. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's more. There's still more to go. There's other things I'm prototyping to continue further where I'm actually, not only, not only am I going to... Um, 
try to retarget the animation to different rigs. I wanted to be able to modify the uh, the animations. And one of the things that um, in the video that uh, Ubisoft mentions is that they can control the stride. And here's a quick uh, prototype of me actually processing the animation and then about to and allow me to kind of control it. So now I'm able to scale um, the IK information and, 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 and change how the walk cycle works. So this way, the, so the leg now is like a much wider, uh, much wider uh, str uh, str stride, stroke, str not stroke, uh, stride. So again, you know, So with this kind of system, a lot, a lot is a lot of possible. Uh, there's a lot of possibility. You just got to be able to kind of put the translate all that animation into some kind of reusable bit of data, then have uh, something that can take that bit of data and then translate it back into a rig. And you, you kind of just like a piece by piece. You know, you have a three legs, you know, three bones, two bones. Um, a spine works completely differently. The way I do a head is completely different. The way how a foot does. It. So I really had to build one piece at a time until I got something that worked both for T-Rex and for Vegeta. Uh, in case you didn't know who that character was that's walking with, um, with T-Rex. So yes, so there you go. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope you, I know a lot of people on, on the internet uh, have seen wishing they can build it, and now it's out there. And I hope in the future I will create a YouTube tutorial ser mini series, um, how to build every little bit, every little piece of this system. Um, uh, if you're if you want to follow my uh, all my projects because I build a game engine from scratch and I make uh, YouTube tutorials, I'm up to over 130 uh, videos. If you want to follow, just just like and subscribe to this channel, or if you want to see the progress of my um, all my work um, and see all the failures before I actually do succeed, because it's always fun to see me fail a lot before I actually uh, make some uh, some successful uh, systems. Um, so yeah, just you can check out Twitter and you'll find me at Sketchpunk Labs at Twitter. So um, yeah. Uh, so uh, guys, have a good night, and I hope you enjoyed the little demo I put together.